You will live in good health. The Lord perfects your health. You are healed in the name of Jesus. You are completely made whole in the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. For me, it's a very emotional day. Very, very emotional. Uh, but God has his own way of working things. <laughs> we all know what cancer is. I'm a doctor. I'm a medical practitioner before I became a politician. Cancer is final. In most cases, it's over. I, that stand before you, the first time I had cancer was over 16 years ago. God delivered me from it completely, totally, totally, totally. So, when I was diagnosed again last year of having cancer, it took me two weeks, because I got the diagnosis the report, it took me two weeks to tell my wife. But in my heart, like David, who said, who is this Goliath? God that gave me the power, the strength to deliver me and my cattle from the hands of the lions and this will take down this Goliath. I knew that I cannot die. It's not going to happen. He healed me. Hallelujah. Nine months ago, I that stand before you, I was totally, completely helpless, prostrate. If I could do anything at all, is to only shift my position in bed. I could not get up. I have a life witness here. I could not get up. And if, even if I wanted to go to the loo, my wife has to take me to the loo and walk me to the place and when I'm done she has to pull me up again to, to go to, back to bed that was the best I could do I had an intractable pain on this right hand it was unrelenting it was untreatable it was not, it was not responding to any known drug I am a doctor I'm telling you and I had that for 90 days or more I was not sleeping. I don't know how God preserved my sanity. But I give you this profoundity of this illness, and you compare it to the man that is standing before you, and then you see the immenseness of what the Lord has done. Today I stand before you, and I'm holding a microphone in my hand. It's, that's, it's not possible. I could not do anything with this hand. It's still, you can still see it. It's funny. It was not possible to even... I had to go to the bank with my wife physically to transfer the signatory and authority on my account to her. I could not sign anything. I could not hold anything. I could not use this hand for anything. But today... Hallelujah! Give me two more minutes. Please be seated. I was born with sinus bradycardia. That is, you know, slowness of the heartbeat. But this, thank you. It is compa... It is... It is... Hallelujah. Give him all the praise. Just give God all the praise. Thank you. It is compatible with life. And at a point, but something happened, it just got worse. At a point in time, I couldn't do 100 meters without stopping. And the president was on second floor. And I'm his advisor. I see him every day, every morning. So when I get down from the car, and I climbed the stairs. I have to stop. You know, luckily, there are, there are you know, flights. You know, you know, 
along the stairs. So I stop, I would open my file and pretend to be reading. So people who pass say, huh, don't, don't. You are trying to read something to go and bamboozle the president. It's not true, I was resting. Then one night I went to my altar in the house and I laid down and I said, God, I did not, and that's the truth, I did not ask for this job. I said, and I know that that's your signature. You did it. Now, did you bring me here that I may be shamed? Because at this point, I will have to either resign or be sacked. Why? I don't want this church. My pulse rate came down to 30. That was not compatible with life. My pulse rate came down to 30. After that prayer, I didn't hear it again. I forgot the sickness. It never came. It never, I did not remember. That was in November 2014. The final testimony I will give before I go and sit down. For 20 years of my life, early life, every day I went to the toilet. Every morning, every day, I bled like a woman having menstruation. Every day for 20 years. My hands were swallow. My eyes were pale. But when, when, when doctors, my friends say, ah, don't you, are you this pale? Oh, no, you need. I said, go and sleep. That's just how I am. I was okay. You know, you, you know, your body will compensate for it. Then one day I went to a friend's house. And somehow... Normally, I don't go to the toilet in people's houses because I know what, what my issues are. But my tummy was funny, so I went to the toilet. And when I finished, I was so happy. There was even nothing. So as I was about to pull up my pants, I just saw blood all over the floor in a, in a friend's house. There was no mop. There was nothing. What do I... You know, what, should I call the wife or somebody to come and clean this place? Luckily, there were some toilet rolls. So I soaked them in water and I wiped the place to the best of my ability that the next user will not see blood. And I leaned against the washroom basin and put my head on the mirror. And I said, God, I am tired. I don't want this anymore. This is the 20th year I've never bled. Hallelujah.